Today we're going to learn about something called the MVC model inside Optic Render PHP programming. Now when it comes to Optic Render programming, we have a lot of different patterns we can choose from, and one of the more famous ones is the MVC model. So this is the one we're going to use in these lessons here. Before we get started actually using the MVC model, we're going to do a lot of fundamental stuff first since you guys need to know some basic stuff about Optic Render programming before we can dive into the MVC model. But because I think the MVC model gives you guys a really good idea, about what exactly Optic Render Programming is, I think it's important to explain the MVC model from the beginning, okay? So as you guys can see in front of me here, I have a diagram that I drew inside Illustrator, and I'm gonna go ahead and explain what exactly this diagram means. So as you guys can see, we have a browser down here. We have a computer with a website in front of it. This is you guys, you're watching the actual website. Then we have three different parts of the MVC model. We have a controller, we have a model, and we have a view. Now each of these does something specific, meaning that the controller takes information from the user when he goes to a website, such as, let's say he goes into a search field and searches for information inside the website, then the controller takes care of all the requests from the user. Now the model up here takes care of all the connections to the database, meaning that the model knows everything about our database. These down here don't know anything from the database, they only take care of the user or shows the user the information he needs to see inside the website. So when it comes to the view, this guy just takes care of showing the user the actual code that he needs to see inside the website, okay? So to explain this in a very, very basic and visual way, let me tell you guys a story about a company. We have a company called, for example, MVC. Inside this company, they buy and sell different goods such as merchandise. And a customer walks inside the door, which is right here, and says he wants to see some of the goods that we have inside the company. So inside the company, we have three different people working. We have the CEO, which is up here. He knows everything about the company. He knows all the company's secrets. And some of this information is very sensitive. Therefore, he has two people working inside the company, since you know the CEO shouldn't do all the work inside the company. Uh, he has one guy, who takes care of selling stuff to the customer, and he has one guy who buys stuff from customers. So when a new customer walks inside the door and says, I want to see some of the goods you guys have, for example, I want to see all the uh, soccer balls that you guys might be selling inside this company, then the view takes care of the customer and says, okay, he wants to see soccer balls. I'm gonna go to the CEO and ask him, which kind of soccer balls do we have inside the company we can sell him? So the CEO, because the, all the information he carries is very precious, is only going to give his employee all the information about soccer balls. This, this guy down here is then gonna to go to the customer and show him the information. Now, another customer walks inside the door and says, I want to sell you guys basketballs. Now, because this guy over here takes care of buying stuff when customers come inside the door, he's gonna be the one to greet the customer. He's gonna take the basketballs get the information from them, and then pass them on to the CEO and say, okay, we just purchased these basketballs, here you go. Now you can actually note down inside our system that we have more basketballs in storage. Now both of these employees down here don't actually know what each of them are doing. And as soon as one of these employees has actually done something with a customer, such as given him information regarding soccer balls or bought something from the customer, they immediately forget what exactly they bought or showed the customer. The only guy who has any kind of brain inside this company is the model up here, or the CEO. So this is the basic idea behind how an MVC model works regarding the information that gets passed back and forward inside a website. And this is what we're gonna focus on in the later run once we learn the fundamentals of object-oriented programming. I hope my story gave you guys some kind of visual idea about what exactly an MVC model is and how object-oriented programming works, at least when it comes to an MVC model. In the next episode, we'll actually talk about how to get started with the actual programming of Optic Oriented Programming. And we're gonna talk about some of the more fundamental stuff, which means that all the stuff we just talked about in this episode regarding the MVC model is just to give you guys an idea about what exactly these things do. And we're not gonna to touch the MVC model till later episodes, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.